So last Thursday, December the 3rd, December the 3rd, I made it sound like it's a fucking king or something. Last Thursday, which was December 3rd, um, I released an EP called Error on my SoundCloud. Error is this kind of a concept album about this error in your brain that can only be fixed with extreme patience. I, I guess it's pretty easy to figure out what this error is actually. It's 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 anxiety and depression, you know, because like so it's basically chemicals in your brain that mess you up when you're depressed or have a severe anxiety or whatever. <sighs> Coffee. So go check it out before you watch this video, because I'm about to spoil the shit out of this EP in the next, I don't know how many minutes. So the idea for this, so this EP was inspired, well not inspired, that's the wrong way to phrase it. Basically the idea for this EP came to me after a really bad mental breakdown. Um, basically this self-isolation thing uh, messed me up really badly, both academically and mentally and it just kind of like at one point just like it all came out and yeah I was a total wreck uh the day after the mental breakdown I got the idea that I got to get my shit together I gotta get some more get more sleep I got to start exercising more actively and Start being more open to people about the things, about how I feel, because that helps. And I gotta get rid of the the idea that I'm just wasting everyone's time when I'm talking about my mental issues. Uh, yeah. All that kind of inspired me to actually write down everything that sucks in, into my life. Sucks in my in my life right now, and turn them into songs. For example, if I felt like I'm losing motivation on doing anything, uh, right, I'll write that write a song about it. Uh, if I feel like I suck at relationship and will never get an, I suck at relationship and ne will never get together with anyone, uh, I'll write that down and make a song out of that. All that said, I started working on this project. I kind of wanted this, like, I wanted this kind of, like, synth-heavy trap vibe to it. I don't know why. I just thought it would fit the overall mood. I kind of just, like, spent the whole last month just gathering together everything. I originally had this idea that every single song is going to sound different. And, like, between every single song, there will be some kind of, like a recording of my brain or whatever going crazy or something just like in the just like in brain.x but then i thought i'll just make a bunch of songs about my mental health and keep it in that but i still finished some of the two of them the first one the the first first one the intro and brain.x and in the end, I decided to just throw them in because, like, then the concept album thing would would make it even more artistic or whatever. Also, during the process of making these songs, I found out that a very f close friend of mine does music too. And so, I, we made a deal. I made a beat for him. He made a beat for me. We exchanged the beats. And uh, in the end, I happened to just use the beat in this whole project. Thank you, Yotam. So now I think it's the time to break down each song for this EP. First track, Error. Um, that kind of idea came to me when, well, firstly, um, I was cleaning up my backyard while listening to Jared Dine's Dark EP when, when the idea for the whole album came to me. Um, and the idea for this first track literally came to me when I was walking my dogs. I was just like, 
hey, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be cool though if I just like if the whole like EP started with like a recording of someone someone like a glitching wo voice telling that hey, there's an error in your brain, but it uh, but hey, it can be fixed, but with extreme patience, cause you know. And it was a cool idea, so when I got home, I started to execute this, the idea. I recorded myself over and over and over again, talking the thing. I threw the recording to my DAW, and I just, like, started playing with it, reversing, like, different things, and the pitch, pitch shifting, and, like... And... But then, when I was finished with the recording, I thought, this is lacking something. So... I decided to throw in some synth, synth in the background, which gave me the idea that, hey, why don't I make this whole thing very synth-heavy? This one specific clip, I'll play it for you right now. There it was a reversed sample of a Finnish meme. <laughs> There's this guy who tell who says that which is like there's which means there's a there's a hu human inside of that and that became a meme in Finland. So I decided to throw that in, but then I decided that I'll pitch it down and reverse it, and then it gave this fun effect there. So yeah, track two, Untitled. Untitled was a song originally made for another project that I was working on. But at one point I realized that that song really doesn't fit the overall mood of the the other project, so I decided to throw that into this. Um with this track, uh the lyrics were about me losing motivation, me being a fuck up and like how I feel like a piece of shit. Even though, even though there are some people in my life that tell me that, hey, everything is going to be fine. Even though there are people like my dad who are like, hey, everything is going to be fine. It's just teenage angst, you know. Everybody tells me that I'll be fine. I believe that. And I can't deny the fact that on the surface level, I'm pretty good, yeah. But in my head, yeah, I'm a loser. And yeah, I believe that. Song is literally literally talks about how I was how I was losing motivation on doing anything and this kind of mental mental problem kind of led me to be absolutely shit at school for about a month because I just couldn't get myself to do anything yeah which is sad I know but that's the truth behind the song also the second ver when the second verse starts and I said, say, This is not a cry for help, this is a confession, my therapy session, I need this to keep everything together. It's a sort of a straight up um, comment on, straight up answer for anyone who's asking, am I okay? Um, and am I crying for help with these songs? No, I'm not. The reason why I did this whole album was because I felt like I need to get it all out. It's really therapeutic to write down everything that just, just like sucks in your life and scream it at a microphone. Because, I don't know, it's, it works. It just, it just works. Okay. Third track, Love, dot dot dot, is not for me, I guess. This track was kind of... How could I say? Where do where did I get the idea for this track? Um well, one day I was at my home alone. In here alone. Home alone. <laughs> I just suddenly came up with a melody for a song. And then I just kind of started writing down about how I fuck up every relationship that I get into. That's how the idea for the track came. The tech, the technical aspects how I did it was that I guess 
I recorded myself going, uh, and then turned that, sampled that, turned that into a MIDI track and made, made my, uh, into, into chords. I just played with the notes and got a melody that I liked. I add some trap drums in the background and yeah, this is how the instrumental was created. Love is not for me, I know, but I still keep trying though. Um, the lyricism on this track... I'm sorry. Every situation that I've rapped about in this track are real. Um, so if you, if you recognize yourself from the lyrics, I'm sorry, I had to let it all out, I had to, I had to let it all out, especially, I'm sorry, Olivia, Olivia, so I'm about to say straight up, I like you, Olivia, I like you, Olivia, technically, by saying Olivia, it could be any Olivia in the world, you don't actually know me, you know, uh, this is on the internet, so you don't actually know me, so you don't actually know me, and technically you don't know who, which Olivia, which hundreds of thousands of Olivias in the world am I talking about? Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I know you don't feel the same. I just had to let it all out, which was the whole point of the whole EP in general. I just had to let. It let to write down the pain, rap about it, and tell everyone that hey, this is how I feel. This is what brings me down, and this is what uh, uh fucks me up all night. I I can't. I fucking can't speak. Holy fuck! Oh fuck! I'm having a panic attack. Oh fuck! Ah. Uh. I'm sorry, I can't. Fourth track, Dead by Dawn. Originally, I just came up with the name. The name was cool. I t took it from Evil Dead 2. Yeah, I just took it from there. And yeah, it's it was a cool name. And I wanted to make a song named Dead by Dawn. Then when, with this track, I this track, I asked my friend, Yotam, to make me a, a synth heavy trap instrumental as an exchange for a track that I made for him. A few days later, he sends me a track. Um, I listen to it. I'm like, yo, this is fire. Uh, I like this. But then I didn't know what to rap about on top of this track. And soon I just like realized that, hey, I could rap about my sleep i would i could track rap about how i don't get enough sleep and it's a lot of times it's caused by the fact that my brain keeps on putting me down and that my brain keeps on telling me to kill myself i'm gonna end it all this night there will be no tomorrow I guess this is a common problem, but like my brain, especially during the night, uh, when I'm supposed to sleep, uh, my brain uh, kind of keeps on reminding me about things that I have done, and it's just fucking annoying. Shut the fuck up, brain, I want to sleep. You know for sure that it's not healthy. Because like, I, I want to sleep. But my fucking brain keeps on reminding me of little things that I have, like, messed up, like, f mm. in my life, like, before, like, and it, 
And the weirdest thing is that it might be like so many years ago. Some of the things happened so many years years ago that I think a lot of the people that I talked to back then have forgotten about the whole thing. And it's just like f fucking annoying. I want to sleep. But hey, um, to be fair, nowadays I'm I have tried to change up my sleeping schedule. I've gotten better sleep. I sleep better now, and I'm going to a better direction. Next track, Brain.x. This was one of the first tracks that I uh, finished for this project. My idea was that after every single track, there would be some kind of a skit slash a gag, like something like this, where my brain is like glitch glitching or whatever, and having like, and it's like breaking down and all that. I decided to scrap that idea, but I still kept this. At first, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna throw this in. This is kind of like stupid. But then when I listened to all of them, like as a, all of the tracks as a, as a whole, I was like, something is missing. I picked up this brain.x. Um, I th threw that in, listened to the whole, listened to the project as a whole again. And I was like, yeah, this is, this makes it better. So I decided to throw it in. This, this a track slash recording uh, was achieved by me just like screaming at a microphone and going like, ah! <laughs> straight up Slipknot uh, screams. I did my time and I want out. Uh, I just threw them into my DAW. I played played around with them. I reversed them. I pitched them up, pitched them down. Um, then. At one point, I decided to record myself going, Please restart. Restart. Please restart. Please restart. I threw that in. I threw in some random noises that I found, like, from my computer. And guess what? There are more homages to other Finnish memes. For example, this reversed thing. I guess I said... Uh, quick correction, it was And not I checked it. Also, this Please restart. Please restart. Please restart. Please restart. They're the same thing. Um, it's a homage to an old, old classic classic comedy series called Ummeli, in which there was these two characters who were kind of like metalheads or whatever, and it, it was like parodying metalheads and all that, and they had a song called Tuomion Päivä. Tuomion Päivä! On Tuomion Päivä! <laughs> it's, it's fucking great. And there's a line where they say, On Benten Nimi Päivä! And because I like that, um, like that line, and basically, for some reason, my par parents and my siblings like to call me Benti at times. Um, I just decided to throw that in there. It, it, it was fun. This was one of the fun, like, one of the best, like, things to record, in my opinion. Because, like, it was just fun. I just got to scream, and it was just, like, fucking awesome. <laughs> I remember... Uh, my dad asked me, like, is everything okay? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, everything is completely fine. I'm just screaming in my room to a microphone. <laughs> it, it was hilarious. Final track, fall, bracket, goodbye, bracket. This was, again, for the other project that I was talking about. I felt like this doesn't fully fit the overall mood uh, of the the other project that I'm still working on. And so I was like, hey, I guess I could make an EP with this song. And when it finally, when I finally got the idea to make error, 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 I kind of like, was like straight up, hey, this song fits 
this is fucking great. I'll add this song to the EP. It's gonna be fucking awesome. Uh, it's gonna be gr the greatest, like, ending tracks for the whole thing. I'm a fella again, so goodbye. Basically, the idea of this track was that, well, firstly, this is the last year I'm gonna be living in Belgium. So this is technically a goodbye letter to everyone who I know. And goodbye. Goodbye to everyone, even to people I hate. Yeah. In here. I know it's pretty early to say this, but it's still a relevant topic that will soon be, that it will soon happen. By thinking that I will get out of here, I feel like I'll get better. Cause, you know, when I got here, it's, it wasn't, I wasn't living the best, best of my life. Um, living here has taught thought me some good things. Living here has has given me more appreciation for other cultures. It has taught me about like how different people can actually be. I have met a lot of good people here. Um I have learned about different cultures. I have all that but living here has not been the the best time of my life. Um, in fact, I guess living here has made my mental health issues even worse than they were back in Finland. I'ma get some help after I'm far away from this place. I'ma go somewhere safe. So the track is kind of reflecting on the fact that I guess I'll get better after I'm far away from this place. It is also a track about hope. It's sort of a... Re it's a resemblance of hope and how I'm probably going to get better. The lines, after I'm far away from this place, can mean that I'm leaving this country and going back to Finland. But it can also mean that but it can also mean the place that i'm in mentally uh it can also mean what i mean by that is that i am in a bad state mentally and after i'm far away from that m bad mental place i'm gonna go somewhere safe and get better the overall message of the whole album is that I am struggling with things, um, but I think I'm going to get better. I I I, I don't know how to, how to feel about this. I want to keep my videos usually uh, semi positive. This is not the most fun video to make, but. I feel it's necessary. Like I I feel like this is good for me because I get to reflect on the shit that I'm going through. And I think it's good to, good for you to know that I'm going through them through some shit. The reason why I made the whole thing public is because I wanted everyone to know that I'm going through some shit. And for everyone else who's going through some shit, they'll know that they are not alone. You're not alone. <sighs> I know the self-isolation thing can fuck everyone up. And just like with me, it can be pretty bad. I have had my moments where I have been close to actually killing myself. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to be more open about this stuff. I'm trying to talk to people and tell everyone how I feel. And by making this public, now everyone knows how I feel. And it means a lot to me that a bunch of my friends, uh, after listening to the, this EP, have told me that they're there, there for me. They care, care about me. And if I ever need to talk, I can just talk. And that's so good.
that just shows that I ha I actually have friends that care. And that's the mes message that I want to say. There is a light at the end of the dun and the at the end of the tunnel and there is hope. <sighs> Thank you for going through this journey journey with me. I appreciate you all, all of my friends, and all of your, you who can understand what I'm going through. <sighs> Ho hopefully you get something out of my rambling. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for understanding. Have a nice day. Bye.